I am very pleased to introduce to you our newest plant growing machine. I've named this plant growing machine Kevin. I named this chick Kevin because it had very masculine and beautiful markings on it. Ironically, after living with us for two weeks, we see some indicators that it probably is a hen. So Kevin the hen will be the newest member of our chicken aquaponics team. And I hope you're as excited as I am to watch her progress. We are experimenting with a sustainable system that is designed to feed a family indefinitely. Will it work? We don't know. But you can follow us as we attempt to tackle the challenge. We call this Chicken Aquaponics. For the sake of those who have not seen the other videos supporting our experiment, let me take a brief 30 seconds to bring them up to speed. We are experimenting with fresh chicken manure integrated with a hydroponic system. We've done this by placing hens in an overnight roost suspended over two water-filled catchments. The catchments capture the hens' droppings and pump them through a biological reactor. This process will separate the solid waste and leave nutrient-rich water that is good for growing hydroponic plants. That nutrient solution is extracted from the system and then sterilized by applying heat until the solution boils for two minutes. Then that solution is cooled and poured into a hydroponic sump. We have a free step-by-step -step construction video for our biological reactor. Just go to chickenaquaponics.com and scroll down to the top secret menu. Inside, you'll find a place where you can sign up for important updates. Get registered and we'll send that to you right away at no cost. So now that that brief review is out of the way, we're going to take a look at our first nine weeks of our first growing experiment. So let's get started. From a distance, it seems that the majority of the plants are doing quite well. Even our pepper plant is seeing remarkable growth. The plant leaves are about the size of my palm and I've got pretty big hands. The leaves are heavy and thick, and some of them have begun to turn over. There are two collard plants on the top row that have a bit of chlorosis. I believe this is the result of nutrient deficiency from using straight, untreated chicken aquaponic solution. Additionally, we have two collard plants that are stunted and skinny. But with only 4 out of 32 plants showing signs of nutrient deficiency, I'm confident in calling this experiment a success to this 9-week point in time. In a week's time, I hope to produce our final video for this first round of Chicken Aquaponics Experiment. Please subscribe so that you're certain to be notified of the new video. If you have any questions about our experiment, please click on the videos about to appear on the end screen. Thank you for your constructive participation.